Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently very much in a bit of a chill phase here. We want to expand our army for sure so that we have a better chance against the Ottomans later on. But this is great. We're very, very happy about the outcome of the uh, coalition war. All we had to do was liberate Nakor and they're our ally now. So this is fine. I mean, we're 22 reasons away from vassalization right now, but we might be able to get that a little later on. Even if not... We'll just cancel our alliance with them and it will be fine. We're going to continue doing some exploration and we need to get a bunch of coring done still. So we're going to continue to work on that. In the meantime, we can invest into our infrastructure via our building interface, which is of course here. And let's see what we've got available. Hey, a couple of them. Nice. And for taxation, okay, that's not as nice, but... We still have plenty of manufactories to build, and that's where the real money is. So that's great. We're also working a little bit on our navy here. We do need to get our fifth fleet upgraded. And to that end, I would like to wait. Ooh, we do need money. That's true. 896.72 gold to upgrade all 44 of our caravels. Yeah, that'll be fine. We already upgraded our brigs here, and that's great. We also need some heavy ships, so we'll definitely do that as well. And we cannot afford... Oh, 896. We have 893. Okay, sure. Spain has hot chocolate. Good for them. We're going to continue to make some full cores over here. And we'll get these upgrading right now. Oh, okay. Uh, friends in need from Kazembe, huh? What do we want? Um, a general managing our administration. Honestly, yeah, that's what we're going to go for. We're going to ask them for admin power. That is what we need right now. So that would be great. And we'll get these upgraded on up. Again, we're going to around 50 for our trade fleet. This is not our combat fleet. This is our trade fleet for right now. And we're going to continue doing some coring. Excellent. 25 admin power. So that, of course, means more coring. Sounds good. As far as our overextension goes, that should be going away fairly soon. So we're very, very pleased about that. This is still a lot of admin power that we need to core all of these. So we're going to be chilling for a while and not doing any expansion. We're falling... Hello, Hemba. Uh, that looks like Kazembe has that under control. I think. I hope? I mean, we'll have them annex soon, so we'll get it under control at that point. That'll be fine. Yeah, they're on their way over there, I think. We definitely need to move our admin tech up. Like, we need to be focused on admin power right now, and we are. So that's good. But we really, really need to get some admin power. In Basoga? If they weren't drilling, they would have had that. We'll go deal with it. That'll be fine. We can get a new idea here, and we're ahead of our other techs in military, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and take National Conscripts. Not like I think that that's a particularly good idea, but we want that superior firepower next. Oh, we can send a colonist over here. We probably should. So this is up to 45 at this point. We're going to upgrade that ship as well. There we go. And then we're going to boost this up to uh, level, or rather up to 50 in our early frigates. There we go. And we have 33. We're bringing this up to 40. We should probably get some heavy ships rolling here. We could also get a flagship going. And we may want to do that. Okay, um, I feel like for our flagship, we may want to go for, like, extra cannon. Fleet morale, and perhaps flagship durability, like that. So we'll get that started, and we've also got some galleons. Now, we're going to build roughly five of those. Actually, I'm going to go for, like, nine. So that was five, six, seven... And we need cash now. Ooh, 50 admin power. Yeah, we're taking that. We're absolutely taking that. Get another heavy ship queued up here. 
And then we'll get another one in a moment, but let's go ahead and get some of these full cores in. We can convert provinces, and that's definitely something that we want to do. Okay. And where's that last cash infusion for the heavy ship? Now, keep in mind, this does not have anything to do with our light ships for our combat fleet. We have not done those yet, so we'll get to those in a bit. We did just finish up Christmas Island, and to that end, I would like to come and colonize, like, over here. Excellent. So we're going to continue to core these up as we can. And we're going to continue to bulk up our navy as well. So all of these will be ready to go soon enough, and we'll send them out as soon as our additional ships come in. We're not hurting for cash right now, and our manpower is recovering. We are going to want to expand our armies, and I want to check here. Uh, we're currently at a combat width of 30, so each of these should, in fact, get expanded to 26 infantry. So let's go ahead and do that. These guys can drill, and these guys should be drilling as well see. Supply limit of 38. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then these guys can move on back over this way. And we'll go ahead and core Donkola. We've got a lot more of these to core. However, our overextension has been dropping, so that's great. We're very happy about that. Okay. Arakan is going to attack us on. We don't care. Royal marriage offer from Luba. Yes, please. That will be fine. We're going to move these guys over, get them drilling, and we're also going to bring in another unit of South African musketeers. So that will be perfect. There we go. And let's get additional cores going here. I mean, there's still going to be a lot of them, to be sure. There's still quite a lot of development to be cored here. But let's take a look at the spread of printing press. Not colonialism. Printing press. Okay. We're starting to see some good spread from our capital. I think that's coming from our knowledge sharing, to be fair. Currently in 1.3% of our development. And it's growing nicely over in this area over here. So I do expect that we're going to be able to adopt printing press fairly soon. I do expect that. Gain a mercantilism for dip power. Actually, I kind of feel like we will, but I'm not happy about it. I'm not super happy about that. We do have 30% institution spread right now, and we're going to stay at peace until we get printing press for sure. Global trade will also be a thing that will happen very soon. So that's great. And now that we've cored this area up here, you can see that printing press is up to 3.8%. That's going to be a lot more now, 4.6. And it's spreading in all of that. Excellent. So we are going to continue to explore the Northeast Pacific. We should probably think about getting another army going over here. And to that end, I'm just going to get a cannon down here. Just a single cannon. Okay. I would also like to start thinking about annexing Luba. And let's stop relation improvement with them. We'll need to wait for the diplomat to come on back, and we will begin annexing them. There. Excellent. Now, we're still truced with decor for another eight years here. And that's fine. We currently have negative 22 reasons here. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize that this was a thing. It'll prevent them from calling us into any of their offensive wars. That's actually pretty neat. A skill three natural scientist or 50 admin power? We need the admin. I'm sorry. We need the admin. We can get a number of those full cord. Wonderful. And keep in mind, a lot of this up here is adjusted by autonomy. So this number is going to be drifting up over time. And that's not even counting the locations that it's spreading into, and some of these it's spreading into quite quickly. So, yeah, we're going to have printing press quite soon here. And global trade, I think that we might have before that. Okay, 
we need to go deal with this. And so we shall. We're going to continue to core. And we do want to annex Kaffa and Basoga fairly soon. Let's go ahead and get some annexation going on. Or rather, not annexation, but improve relations going on with Basoga. Okay. These guys, honestly, we're going to keep them. We're going to move them down to Quellamane. Excellent. We're also currently lacking one of our transport ships, which is sad. We'll go find that later. We're still missing a trade ship here as well. It's probably behind... Well, actually, here's our transport ship right now. We'll send that up over here. And then our trade ship is probably one of these. Okay, we need to continue to explore. And so we shall. We're very close to having circumnavigated the world. We're not in any rush on that one, though. Okay. So, Nikor, we're at plus 97 right now. So, we have a lot of favors on them. We should definitely continue to trade favors for trust for right now. However, we don't have any vassals available at the moment. Or rather, vassals. Any diplomats available at the moment. And that's fine. I'm actually surprised that we haven't arrived over here. Oh, it's not sending. Okay. There we go. Now our colonist is actually heading over. Perfect. And we'll continue to core. We are nearing the end of our coring adventure. We want to get these guys a leader here. And what is our current cap on those? Uh, let's see here. Four. Perfect. So we'll roll up a leader. That's a lot of maneuver. I like it. And we'll get these guys drilling. We just got 20 gold from Basoga. Take this up to four, and let's see here, seven? Yeah. Now we're going to increase the size of that eventually, but that's okay. These guys are going to move up over here. Excellent. Now, these are all of our heavy ships over this way. So our heavy ships, they are going to come over here and group up in Habyo for now. Something kind of like this, and then this is our heavy ship here as well. Perfect. This is, of course, a transport. These guys are going to go protect trade wherever it's most profitable. Which looks to be Zanzibar. Excellent. And then this, of course, is our flagship there. So that's great. We won the Battle of Socotra. No shockers there. Okay. This is interesting. These guys should be, like, here. Luba has been integrated. Separatists over here, sure. These guys are going to come on down to Quellamane and join that army. And these heavy ships are all supposed to be in Habio. Okay. These guys are going to be moved via transport up over here. And we have enough transports to move our entire army in one go now. So that's great. And now we're going to build light ships for our combat fleet up to our force limit. Uh, we don't care about that cost, honestly. So, the light ships here, we're not going to build that many of them. In fact, that's one more than we wanted, but that's okay. We can always have our trade fleet come back and fight. But I want to have a decent combat fleet. For now, though, these guys are going to need to be mothballed. Songhai rivaled us. Sure. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to take out these rebels. No problem there. Continue to core. Perfect. And we're going to group all of these guys in over here. These haven't arrived just yet. We won the Battle of Jetta. No shocker there. Okay, only six more full cores to make here. That is fantastic. Printing press is up to 4.5% of our... Of our... Uh, it's actually less, isn't it? <laughs> it's less of our percentage at this point, but it is about halfway there. Printing press is spreading in our territory and pretty quickly, particularly on this coast. So that's great. Aden is offering us knowledge sharing again, and we accept that. Excellent. 
We are going to continue to core if we uh, could, but we can't. So we won't, and we're going to drill over here. These guys can mothball. These guys are mothballed. And that's perfect. We are going to potentially be able to take global trade very shortly here, right? Very shortly. Okay. Interesting. Uh, nobility gaining loyalty, I actually don't necessarily care about, but I do care about losing the stability right now. And we'll give them, we'll give them ducks. I don't care about that. So we only need 0.8% here. These guys should, should group together and continue drilling. And we're going to continue to bulk up the, uh, African musketeers over here. So this needs to be at what, 26? Yeah, like that. So that's now ready to go, our fourth army. And we kind of don't want a fifth army at this point because we can't have a leader for it. So that's okay. We do want to bump up our supply limit. Does the next Miltech give us a su supply limit increase? It does. So that's actually a pretty big deal. Good to know. Now this will need to be unmothballed and we'll have to remothball the uh, light ships here, but that's okay. No big deal there. We'll continue to core these. And I'd say our recovery is largely over. Largely. Now, how are we doing over here now? Minus 25. And it's entirely that economic base compared to Nikorian. That's rough. No doubt about it. That's very rough. Regardless, we'll be okay. We will very, very easily be able to take them over later, if necessary. Which it may turn out to be. Now we are at 51,000 manpower currently. That's great. How are the Ottomans doing, anyway? Are they still... Actually, they're right at about their limit. So, I don't know what happened. Maybe they had a weird event that popped them way above their manpower limit or something. Of course, they've also downsized their number of troops here. So, that's that's a thing. In fact, they have less troops than we do now. They have 88,000. They do still have Miltech on us. They have Miltech 17 compared to our Miltech 16. Honestly, Miltech 17, the only thing that's huge about it is that supply limit. So, seems fine. I mean, we would love to have the supply limit to increase the size of our army, right? That would be huge. We'll take this land leader fire. Okay. We converted Hobbio. We will definitely continue to convert in Gonder. And that's just wonderful. I would also like to start improving relations over here. Actually, we need to royal marry them. We are improving relations as we speak. For Kaffa, we also want to royal marry them, but they can't. They're Coptic. Fair enough. We'll just improve relations with them for now. Our colony over here is self-sustaining. We'll go ahead and fill out over this way. Continue to fill in this gap over here. Excellent. Only two cores left to make here. And global trade, we can actually embrace. We just need 5,000 gold at this point. And honestly, we can get that pretty quickly. In fact, quite quickly. That'll be fine. We'll just save up for it. I'm not going to go into debt. I'm not going to do any corruption, I don't think. Well, how much are we getting per... 851? I'm going to do it. Only twice. Actually, that does put us negative in our income if we're rooting out this much corruption. But we can do... I mean, honestly, no rooting out of corruption right now, and it's still dropping due to our stability. So I think that's okay. And then we are going to adopt global trade here in, like, two months. Now, we're ahead of we're ahead of printing press. <laughs> printing press needs additional time over this way. And it is making some progress radiating from our capital. So that's good. 
but it's not making a ton of progress. It's at 4.4, which is continuing to drop as we core these. But we can now embrace global trade, and so we shall. There we go. That's plus one merchants. But more importantly, some of these are going to have lower malices, especially as we move forward. So we are going to root out some corruption here. I think, honestly, this is fine. Our knowledge sharing ended, so that's okay. We, we do have an unassigned merchant, and we should look at this. Okay, so we're collecting in the Cape of Good Hope. Although we don't have a merchant there. Maybe we should because there is a lot heading out of here. Will we collect more if we send this guy here? Let's find out. I know we auto collect from our main trade port. We do grab more. Okay. Sounds good to me. And let's get those last two provinces cored. Of course, as autonomy comes down, our printing press progress is moving a little bit backwards, but we do have a decent amount of it spreading out over this way. Our truce with the Ottomans is over, and the rest of that coalition. However, our truce with uh, Nikor is going to be for another four years here. Almost five. That's okay. We can build a marketplace, and there's nowhere really to build that. We can build a workshop, and that'll be fine. We are currently only making 21.85, but of course, we're working our corruption down, so that's to be expected. Now, printing press. What else can we do here? I mean, we could continue to conquer up this direction. They're going to love being Shona, it is true. We could continue to conquer up this way. The Ottomans are currently pretty angry at us. Mostly because they want these provinces. I can't say that I blame them. But I want to clear this area. We're not, I think... Well, actually, let's look at alliances here. They're allied with Hadramut. Uh, Hadramut is not in this area, are they? No, they're not. Okay. But... I do think that we should go after Yemen. Do we have a CB on them? We do have a CB on them. Excellent. I'm going to declare this immediately, I think. Although, we're going to have to pull back this diplomat. That's okay. We're not going to get enough favors over there anyway. That's fine. Diplomatic power or mercantilism? We're going to take the mercantilism right now, I feel like. Okay. Okay. So, we only want to stop drilling one of our armies. We don't need all of these. Now, where exactly is Hadramut? I feel like they're normally, like, up over here. But I'm not sure where they are right now. They're not a co-belligerent, obviously. Ah, they're all the way over this way. Awkward. Okay. In we go. And we're not expecting this to be a very lengthy war. We're also not expecting to get very much aggressive expansion up over this way. So that'll be fine. We're going to take Taze. We're going to take Zabid. And I was hoping that that would stack wipe, but it did not. And we're going to have to send two units over to Zabid. That'll be fine. Sunni Zealots over here. And let's just leave behind our cannon. And have these guys come over and stack wipe. Perfect. There we go. And honestly, they can just chill here from here on out. Just drill. They'll be fine. These guys will move on in as soon as we've taken this territory. And our cannon are doing a good job over here. Spy network construction or five prestige... This is actually the same exact option. Hilarious. Oh, it lasts a little longer. Okay. We're going to take the prestige. We're not capped on that. Sounds good. Eh, this is fine. We don't, we don't mind this. These guys can group on together and continue their drilling. Perfect. Now, keep in mind, we do want to... Uh, 
push our way up here and I'm going to annex these locations and these up here as well, just so that we're contiguous here. But these guys over here, they are absolutely going to be vassalized. Absolutely. We probably should check over here to see if we have... Wait a second. They would accept vassalization. Fascinating. These guys would as well. As would these. Okay. No more worries over here then. Sounds good to me. Everyone over here would actually accept vassalization. So we're going to pull back our diplomats here, and we're going to work on improving relations with a number of these locations. We are going to still annex this. But yeah, I, I should have checked that. I wonder if these guys, if Yemen would have accepted as well. Probably not, because they still had that have a core malice. So there is that. Okay, we won this siege, and at this point... They wouldn't quite accept this. Negative 18 reasons. What about if we just vassalize them? Same thing. Okay. Well, we should have ticking war score at this point, so that'll be fine. Yeah, we will have ticking war score as of now. There we go. Our colony over here has grown, and so we will head up over here. And that actually fulfills our mission to control Southern Africa. Fantastic. So we'll get these guys grouped together, and they're just going to chill there for now. These guys are at low war enthusiasm at this point. I do want to annex these. Minus 17 reasons. Okay. So we need additional war score, huh? That's fine. Where exactly is Hadramut? Just this island. That's literally the whole thing. Okay. We're going to unmothball this fleet. And we're going to let this get a repair tick here. Probably should have unmothballed it previously. We're going to come up here. I don't actually mind if we lose ships here. Because we can rebuild them super easily. And we're going to engage there. We're going to unmothball these guys. Excellent. And we're going to engage over here. No problem. And we're going to, of course, use our transport fleet to come over here. With that, however, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will finish up this. Never mind. They'll accept it right now. We can stop this. <laughs> okay. So they'll accept this now. They have 25 reasons. Perfect. There we go. Najran and Rassids, we don't care. Okay. Now, Najran is now outraged at us. They probably wouldn't accept this anymore because of that, but that's okay. They'll get over that. And next episode, we'll work on vassalizing these guys. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.